Hello guys, welcome to my channel here. I love you. Very warm welcome again. And today we are. I'm going to show you how to create system image backup. So when your system crashes or hard disk doesn't work or anything ha unhappening happens, in that case you can restore those files from your system image backups. So let's start. First of all, find press window key then find file history you can also find it from a control panel very I am doing this because this is very easier to do so you you find it restore your files from with file history let's click it now configure the file history as you can see over here As you can see over the path, over there, the path is control panel, then I'll do all, then you can go to file history. There is the, in this left down corner, system image backup. Let's click it. It's very easy to do this. And today I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this in my external hard disk, which is even easier and very safe to keep it. Now here, is, as you can see, create a system image. Just click it. Wait for a while till it looks for the backup devices, and you can now detect my external hard disk, which I have inserted to take this system image. As you can see from this list, there there are the hard disk in which you can take this system image, and this is my external. As drive with my external hard disk in which I am going to do this today. So I have selected it. Also you can also uh, take this in DVDs which you must take one or more DVDs because it, it takes all the system files also into the image and it requires more DVDs since DVD comes with 4.7 GHz memory and it requires a lot more than that click next since my D drive is a system file which is showing it hence it will hence I am unable to uncheck this drive so in your system it will show only system partition and the C system C drive Else, I'm going to take all the, the these backups. Even you can select all the drives, whichever you want to take as image file. Though it is not required to do this. Now take it. Now click next. As you can see, the list will be backed up. The system file. It is a system reserved memory which is showing over here, which is created uh, when you install Windows, it creates automatically a system reserved partition. And this is the C drive, and here it, it is the D drive, which is my even personal list. Since it is a, it, it has some properties which shows it is a system file, and it is taking this. Else in your system, it will not be taken as well. Taken. Now let's just start this backup press the start backup now I am taking backup in my external hard disk now wait a while till it does the, the good job In my system it will take a lot of time because C drive has its own 54 gigahertz memory used and it has also selected my D drive which is personal drive which has also 34 gigahertz memory used and the total would be 90 plus gigahertz which is taking it back up.
whenever your system crashes or hard disk crashes or anything happens you can restore from these backups I will be back soon when it will complete the whole backup in between it is doing nothing other than taking this backup time this message has popped up you can also create a system repair this which can be used to get the options to destroy all the things right now i'm not going to create it and set you know and the old backup has been completed as you can see in my As you can see in my disk, the external hard disk, that is as trap, here is the Windows image backup file created. Since it requires permission, it, as it shows empty outside. As if you access this, it asks for permission at every stage. Here is the backup file. 28th, 23rd September. Now here are the other supporting files which can be used to restore the backup file. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Please subscribe my channel and if it has helped you, so please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.